It's been a uh, two weeks since we posted. We haven't filmed. You know what? Those bitches are gonna stay there. Um, we haven't filmed a car like a nighttime car video in like a while. It's been a month, yeah. And we didn't get a post last week. Cause someone was in Idaho. Idaho, Idaho. And we didn't have time to record two videos. And I was gonna make a compilation of our funniest moments, but I did not have time because I was overloaded by assignments. Am I overthinking that he cares or does he actually care about where I'm going? He's never asked before. This is my guy advice. I need guy advice from Kylie because apparently I know nothing about guys anymore. I don't think he's like, like it's like a suspicious where are you going. I think it's just like, what you up to? What you, but he's never asked, where are you going? Even if I am in a car, he doesn't go, where are you going? He probably doesn't want to be nosy, but he's just like, how's it going, you know? How's it going? See, Kylie has good boy advice. Or so I'll overthink everything in the whole yeah. entire universe. <gasps> oh my gosh, the Sonic worker gave me so <laughs> much fucking attitude. So Kylie goes, I want a cookie dough shake. So I press the button because she finally figured out what she wanted. You're the one who took longer than me, bitch. No, I did not. You continue. had to make me continue. No. She made no, me. No, because I knew what I wanted before you. No, because I knew what I was going to get, but then my space blank. But you made, she literally made me take a picture of the menu so she could I analyze it. I couldn't see. But anyway, so I click the button and I go, can I get a small cookie dough shake? And he goes, it's a blast, <laughs> not a shake. And we do not have smalls for blast. What is this then? What? She said smalls for both of them. Somehow it ended up like this. So, <laughs> so I go, okay. But it, <laughs> he charged them as mediums. Yeah. So they both charged them as mediums. And then anyway. he made it a point to be like, here's your cookie dough blast. And I was like, thank you for the cookie dough shake. <laughs> And he goes, have a good night. And I go, have a better night. <laughs> Gonna literally bite you, dude. <laughs> bite you, bite you, square up with you. I but on a know. better note tonight, Courtney got me, bought me dinner. And we I got sushi. sushi. It was so good. So, I could drink Osaka's soy sauce. So good. It's just, it's just perfect. It's so good. They're shrimp to tempura tempura roll is so good i like how they put like the shrimp like tail on the top of like mm -hmm. one of them i'm so cool but then it's really hard to eat and then it falls apart it'll fart the baby up so that was our night and now we're making cookies when we get home mm -hmm. okay anyway video to topic I thought I spilled on myself. You gonna continue? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> the video happened. It was so cold. Wait, we're freezing, but we literally got ice cream. We're gonna be talking about like relationship stereotypes. And just stereotypes in general, like. Mm -hmm. You just sent me the list, didn't you? Mm hmm. Uh, 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 you know you did it. It's on Snapchat. Oh. Making my life ten times more difficult. Oh my god. My bad. You're always on Snapchat, so. I only really answer one person on Snapchat. And it's not me anymore. <laughs> it was you. And that's why Fuck you. Fuck you too, my friend. <laughs> And that's why you were my number one best friend for the longest time. But you know who was your number one best friend. So then not my number one best friend now replaced you. Because you rather talk to your number one best friend more than me. <laughs> Does that make any sense? It's because you don't snap me back. I snap you. I snap I've been undelivered for 13 <laughs> hours. That was now. But, but, oh, but you've been leaving on me if you're delivered for a whole day. You almost lost our streak multiple times. Okay, we're gonna be talking about stereotypes like dating, relationship, blah, 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 blah girls, boys, blah, blah, toys. Okay, so, so first things on our list dumb blonde. <laughs> There's always that dumb blonde stereotype, which I call Courtney all the time. I hear it constantly from anyone. 
they go, you're dumb because you're blonde. There was this one time I saw a TikTok of this girl dyeing her hair. She was, she like dyed her hair brown and she was like, ah! No, when she's like, now when I do something dumb, I can't say, oh, sorry, I'm blonde. Now I'm just stupid. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but I feel like it's not just blondes are stupid. Like, well, no for, shit. It's just part of the stereotype. <laughs> there's like brunettes that are like fucking dumb. Like I have my moments where I'm really stupid. Like how did I get into an engineering major? Like, And I'm like, were you born? I think I rose blondes more than my, more than anything, actually. Because I'm like, are you sure you weren't born blonde? It'd just be like that. But, like, why does that stereotype, like, have to, like, where, why were they, like, okay. Where did that come from? Yeah, where did it come from? Where did it come from? Where, where did it go? go? Where, where did it come, come from? Got that joke. But, like, no, seriously, where did <laughs> Like, like, who just really woke, oh, I saw myself really hard. <laughs> who just really woke up one day and was like, huh, blondes. They're, They're dumb. stupid. Like, but it doesn't. Like other hair colors are stupid too. <laughs> Everyone's stupid at some point. I feel like everyone has their dumb fucking moments. Mm -hmm. Anyway, relationship stereotypes. What do you mean by that? Earth to Courtney, are you there? Are we talking about like stereotypes for dating like nowadays? You're the one who had this idea. What did you mean by it? Of how nothing like relationships aren't real anymore. Everything's a situation ship. Everything is either a situation ship or a hookup or a f buddy or oh fuck buddy. Why am I not cussing? <laughs> so I don't want any of that. I want a relationship. I still want a relationship where we uh I don't know bake cookies, dance in the kitchen, and but. I just want something like why is like nothing genuine? I it's just like no. About I don't want <clears throat> like I want someone where I can lay in like a field at nighttime, look at the stars and talk. Like I wanna be able to cuddle without you wanting something. So, more like, than that. To have sex that night. Yeah. Or it leads to something sexual like right like, off the Like why does back. it why 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 is everything just sex? I don't want that. Like, I want someone that will watch the sunset with me, that will watch the stars Like, to do all this stupid and cliche shit, you know? Like, I want that like shit. Like, I want an IRL The notebook. <laughs> like, I want all that. I don't want just a relationship based on fucking sex. Yeah. On God. For real. For real, for real. Maybe if I turn my phone off low brightness, or not low, low battery. Brightness. Low battery, it'll work. Okay. Guys have to be the one to pay all the time. I think that's stupid. I think it is stupid. Like, because there's some girls that are like, he didn't pay. That's so stupid. It's like, okay. Like, if you're in a relationship with someone, it should always be like, either 50-50, like, you pay for one day, he pays for one day. And you take turns, you know? Or like, literally, if you guys have dates, like, planned, like, the whole night, like, oh, you go to dinner, then you go see a movie. Or if you go to the store and like pick out snacks and then you go to back to the house and like get or like get snacks and get like food food and then go back and like go get go watch a movie then someone should either pay for the food and the other should pay for the snacks yeah like it's wild if you think like a guy should pay for everything because or even a girl because there's some guys that make the girl pay for everything i'm only speaking on my behalf because i was in a relationship where i had to be the one to pay for literally everything dinner snacks drinks that's wild i remember everything i think the only thing he paid for is when we were in the talking stage and he paid for a tall starbucks drink i feel bad when someone pays like everything for me like Same. whenever i would i haven't gone on a date in fucking years but <laughs> if anyone ever like paid like for everything for me i'd like feel so bad and i was like no you're not allowed to like let me give you some money and there was one day i went on this was like two and a half years ago and we went to the movies and he bought the tickets and then we were buying the popcorn and stuff and i was like you better not pay like let me pay for this and so we split it even well, and it's just... funny because right after that like when i got home i literally like talked to my grandma about it she's like you you let like you got you paid two right i was like yeah yeah like we split it even <laughs> i just don't get why some girls and like guys are like oh they have to pay for everything no i don't think it should be that way like i hung out 
I don't even want to talk about this guy. But I hung out with the guy, this guy, and we went to Cane's. <laughs> and I paid for myself, and he paid for himself. Because this is like the first time we were meeting, I wasn't going to be like, oh, you are going to pay for me. Like, he offered to pay for me, and I go, no. And then we went out to eat one other time, and we got IHOP at like 12 in the morning. <laughs> and he paid for that. I'm pretty sure because he thought if he paid, he would have a fun time afterwards. He didn't get that. So then he ghosted me. <laughs> but like, don't do better. Do don't better. be this person. So, anyway, next one. Kids toys. Okay. Kylie has a lot to write about this one. So, she knows more. I just wrote a paper about this for my women, gender, and society class. I think it's stupid, like, how kids' toys are assigned, like, a gender. Mm -hmm. Like, like why can't boys play with- What the fuck is that doing? What is that crit doing? What is that crit doing? <laughs> you can see its lights shining on us. Why is it driving us? What the fuck is it doing? I don't know what I'm like, what are they are doing? Are they staring at us? Are they practicing <laughs> driving? Like, what are they doing? <laughs> About to hit the curbs, literally driving through this the is, lanes. This is literally getting worse. Are they parking now? <laughs> okay. Parking right in front of us. At like a good distance away. <laughs> okay. Now they're backing up! <laughs> now they're backing up! <laughs> now they're going forward! <laughs> now they're stopping! They're trying hard. <laughs> no! <laughs> now they just stopped. The intrusive thought. Oh, now they're getting. Oh, now out. they're getting out. We're gonna dictate this whole thing. Now they close the door. <laughs> what? They literally went like this. <laughs> and did nothing. Now they're backing up again. <laughs> now they're stopping. No, now they keep backing up. Oh, oh, oh. They're not done. They're gonna hit the curb. Now they're going forward again. <laughs> I swear, I think they're practicing driving. Okay, anyways, yeah. besides the point. Kids toys. Like, why can't guy like, like, little boys play with Barbies? Because, like, if they have sisters, too, mm -hmm. you don't think they would want to not play with their toys? I feel like kids' toys have a lot to do with the way people grow up. Like, I had to write a whole paper about this. Like, um, we watched, like, old um, videos about, like, girls' toys and boys' toys and what's advertised to them. And um, what I wrote was, like, girls are, like, always taught like it's always taught based on the gender stereotypes like girls have to be feminine they have to be emotional they have to be nurturing you have to learn what it's like to be um like acting like a mother at the age I remember you're born when i was younger i would always have like fake babies and i would have to take care of them like i from day one i knew i hated babies i hated from baby day toys. one i knew i, I was, hated I them a kid i hated baby toys i mm, I loved Barbies, really? though. Yeah. Well, I kind of like, and, like, when I did Toy Box, we would have stations, and in, I guess, one station, it'd be, like, play or something, and they would have Barbie dolls. Even even the boys would play with the Barbie dolls. Like, they yeah, have something like... separate for the boys. <laughs> going forward now they were in the same spot the whole time oh. okay now they're gonna hit a car i could i literally thought they were about to hit that tree though and do you think i'm a bad driver <laughs> what are they doing? they're gonna hit that car narrowly missed it oh they're trying to park again okay anyway <laughs> like they um, didn't give anything separate for the boys to do like which i kind of like that because the boys should know be able to play with Barbies too. I just hate gender stereotypes. Like men have to be dominant and strong, and women have to be nurturing and like motherly. It like, but it's like, like boys are like raised through like um one of the things that like the, my one of the articles that I was reading or something said like, <laughs> what the fuck is that car doing? I'm sorry, it's just the can. Okay, okay, one of the articles said um like. Your kids learn what gender stereotypes are from like a very young age because they're praised by their behavior and like gender neutral toys aren't like a common thing at all and everything's like promoted and advertised for like separation and gender which I think is so fucking stupid 
like boys get cars like ki um cars and like dinosaurs and like nerf guns and all these like kind of like things and trucks and stuff like that and i feel like that really co like contributes to how like you know like gender stereotypes are rewarded and how like why there's such a big gap between like men and women sometimes just like the stereotypical like i, I think, think gender is a social construct let me just say that i think um, i did pretty good at like yeah i play with like girl like when i was younger i played with girly toys mm -hmm. but i also would play with my my brother's monster truck yeah me too like me and my brother would go to monster jam with like um i put i went to monster jam yeah we we'd go to monster jam and we always play with cars um and it's just like even sometimes they're like kylie you can't play with that those are boys toys i'm I moving a, driving a little car around how is that like i like the ones that were automatic where you just pulled back and yes go, those are so fun me and my and brother had like a little thing um and like you could like shove the car in it and it would like launch the cars and we'd always check to see like which car would go the fastest and we'd have like tournaments and stuff i'd always lose somehow because <laughs> he always knew what the good cars were but i hate when they knew that i was like i know whatever but i just think gender gender toys are stupid i think a gender should play with whatever toys they want mm -hmm. because you're a fucking kid does it really fucking matter you're already teaching them teaching that it's not okay like you're putting these stereotypes in their head like i don't like I don't know if that's like a subconscious thing by parents. This car's still going at it, <laughs> but it's definitely something that happens. Anyway, next stereotype. Are they gonna hit the curb again? Probably. Next stereotype is girls aren't funny. I hate that when guys say girls aren't funny. I think we're hilarious. I think, like, if anyone were to see us, like, when we're literally. I think we can be funny. When we're, like, literally, like, just walking around, or, like, even at dinner, we were literally. Oh my god, in Walmart? <laughs> And while we're okay, we were like, we're married, and this guy passed by us, and he looks, and he goes, what? <laughs> it was so funny. And I told her, I, when I laugh, I sound like a trinopolis. <laughs> you said like a trilaparis or something. I was thinking of a dinosaur that defies. But what I What is that dinosaur called? Tri a trisopatorus? I think they're getting worse, I guess. <laughs> What's it called? Uh, I don't... I try pterodactyl? <gasps> it is a pterodactyl! <laughs> Whoa, I was so fucking <laughs> off. <laughs> oh my god, girl. <laughs> but, like, if you were to see us, like, just, like, literally... Doing our daily life. If like... we had a reality TV show, I feel like <laughs> everyone would be laughing. Mm -hmm. So I feel like that stereotype is stupid that girls aren't funny because I quite frankly think... We're fucking hilarious. Yeah. It's not my fault. I think it's because boys have such a stupid sense of humor. Yeah. Their sense of humor is like... I don't even fucking know. Like, oh my god, it's so funny. Haha, <laughs> fart joke. <laughs> um, these nuts. Like, come on. Do better. <laughs> or will it? <laughs> fucking... I'm still not over it! I'm not either. Um... But, yeah, um... I think girls are funny. funny. Anyway. Like, uh, part from the same spot. <laughs> I thought they were gone. Now their lights are off. Like, everything is off. Okay. Old people don't know how to use technology. That's just true. Like, Not for everyone. My German teacher, she was old. She had white hair. <laughs> Nicest old lady ever, though. But she knew how to use technology better than I did for some things, honestly. But now if we're, like, talking about my grandma or something. <laughs> love my grandma. Mm. I just had to help one. Also, sweet, sweet lady. But I just had to help one of my grandmas. She was like, I hate having a passcode on my phone. How do I get rid of this? And it took me, like, five seconds. And I was like, boom, you don't have a passcode anymore. She's like, it's made my life so much easier. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? My, mo my mom's mom. So my mom's... Wait, my grandma on my mom's side. <laughs> so... Apparently, like, the phone, her phone wasn't it working. Was story. Continue. <laughs> her phone wasn't working. And so, my mom calls their home phone because she, like, my grandma will text my mom, like, literally every single day. And my mom didn't hear anything for a whole day. And she's like, 
uh, does she know how to turn on her phone? Or, so she calls the home phone and she's like, I don't know how to turn on my phone. And my mom goes, well, you press these buttons and it turns on. She's like, well, it's not working. And so my mom's like, oh my God, I'll just get you a new phone. So she goes, like, she gets a new phone for my grandma that gets mailed there. And my grandma gets her new phone. And she's like, I don't know how to set this up. Because my mom had to go all the way to California when she got her iPhone to help her set it up. Because she didn't know how to set it up. <laughs> Old people are so fucking funny. <laughs> um, but no, I have another story. I'm pretty sure I told this story once before. Um, I was at work. And, you know, there's like, you could tap your card to pay. So, she was trying to insert her chip. No, she would. I don't even know if she knew about that. I don't know. She was, like, swiping her card or something. It's always them swiping the card. I was, like, maybe try inserting it. Our card reader sucked ass. I was, like, okay, what if you try tapping it? And she's, like, what do you mean tap it? And I was, like, <laughs> you just set your card on it. And she's, like, huh? What do you mean? I'm, like, can I please just see your card? And she's, like, no. What are you going to do with it? And I'm, like, Hold your card over the reader. So she holds it like this, puts it on top of it like that, and she goes, oh, what happened? I'm like, your payment's been accepted. That's what happened. It's called tap. Tap and pay. Tap to pay. That's how that works. She's like, I'll be using that all the time now. I was like, why just don't you just do trust this? me? Why don't do it like don't this? Don't do it like that. <laughs> I was like, I'm, I was fed up already, but. That blew my mind. I was like, she didn't know what tap was. How you not know what tap is? My mom keeps calling Apple Pay tap and pay. Tap She's and like, pay. can I use my tap and pay? And holds up her phone, and it's so funny, and I laugh at her <laughs> so like, hard. Probably like, yeah. <laughs> what is it? Um, <laughs> iPhone Pay. Like, Apple's gonna pay. Like, Apple. It's coming out of Apple's wallet, <laughs> and this is why I spend so much money because I'll just go on my phone and be like. There you go. It's just too easy. And it's like, because it's like Apple, it's called Apple Pay. So why doesn't Apple just pay for it? Like, it logically, don't call it Apple Pay. Call it Courtney Pay. If you're going <laughs> to, if you're going to, if it's going to be my money, then call it my pay. But like Apple Pay, it should be Apple Pay. Why break my bank account when I can break Apple's? <laughs> you know? Just me? Okay. Next one. <sighs> Women can't be engineers. This is just what Kylie, this is all dedicated to Kylie because I am not. Okay, I only this. brought this up because I was thinking about it. I was in my dorm. It's basically. What's on that car doing now? What is going on in this Walmart parking this lot? This is why we come at like midnight or like one in the morning. Because there's the no distractions. Why is that motherfucker speeding like it's fucking GTA 5? This is a NASCAR, bitch! Anyway, I was only thinking this because, um, obviously, like, women can be in a STEM. I'm I am a STEM major. I was just thinking about it because my dorm, like, goes based on major. So, it's, like, um, my dorm's, like, the engineering dorm. And it is, like, all guys. It is rare that I, like, ever, like, every time I'm going in the elevator, if I'm not with a friend, it's rare that I'll see, like, another girl in the elevator. Like, it happens, of course, but, like, most rare. times, rather than not, if an elevator's full... Like, say there's, like, 15 people on the elevator. Uh, 12 of them, bless you, <laughs> are gonna be guys. Like, I remember one time I was with my roommates, and we were going down the elevator, and then, like, there was two other girls, and, we, like, they were like, what the fuck? An elevator of girls? Like, this doesn't happen. Like, my entire, my wing of my dorm, there's, pro there's, like, a lot of rooms, and just my wing alone. There's... It's my room with my roommates and one other girl's room in our wing, I think. And then the rest is all guys, I'm pretty sure. That's crazy. It's wild, for real. I just don't understand why it's like a male-dominated kind of thing. Right in this room. Are you done talking about that? Or I'm done talking about it. What are you doing? That peanut butter did not taste good in that bite. <laughs> huh. I think he probably poisoned my thing after me getting everything wrong in my order and <laughs> it did not make him happy i'm still pissed off 
Anyway, feminism, feminism, I also thought about this because of kids' toys, because of my women, gender, and society class. I hate how like feminism is like a stereotype that it's like an extreme like. Like you have thing. one. It's just the fact that women should have rights. <laughs> yeah, and guys are like, oh you. And guys are always like, oh, you want to have rights? You're offended. Like, they just, like, roast you for It's like an feminine. insult. It's like... It shouldn't be an insult. Why? Because like, I want to be equal. Like... I don't want to be looked differently. I want to be in control of my own fucking body. I'm sorry. Like, I want to vote my bad. Do you have anyone telling you what to do with your fucking body? No, I you think the don't. fuck not. Not only do boys get paid more when it comes to careers... But they don't get told what they do with their bodies. And. <sighs> no, because it's a thing like if guys had periods, like tampons would be available for free at like gas stations or something. And it's so annoying because like why doesn't gr- when we walk into girls bathrooms, why aren't there tampons out in there? There's always a dispenser, but it always charges and it's always empty. And it's always the cardboard tampons that so but sometimes bad. even some of those don't even like bathrooms don't even have them like, yeah the half majority, the time they don't like a majority of them it's just like like do better like come on but you can but in college because i like see on people's stories um they'll give out guys like guys condoms out for free no they're literally like the first week of school and they were giving out free shit there was a condom and everything like, like <laughs> Okay, you're giving- you're literally- So you have the money to fund condoms, but you can't give me a free tampon. <laughs> like, where's the logic? Because you're basically telling us, have sex. Have sex. Have fun. Cool. Like, that's just gonna make boys even more wanting to have sex than anything at all. So fucking annoying. Ah! I hate life. Me too. <sighs> boys can't cry that's so dumb i hate that because i rather be with or i rather be with someone that shows emotion than bottles everything up and hides it yeah like, because like or just is so serious all the time or like not when you're that talking bottling up isn't like is a super bad thing like i bottle up my emotions yeah, same. But I will also, like, show them. Like, it's yeah. not an intentional thing to bottle up my emotions. It's just, like, the fa- like the idea that you think you can never cry because you're a guy is so dumb. Like, you're allowed to have feelings. I feel like... Okay. Um, guys make me feel like I'm overly emotional. Me too. But it's just, like, they don't ever show their emotion. Mm-mm. So, like, if I, am I being over-emotional or are you not being emotional enough? Like... <laughs> because, like... And, like, guys never are, like, oh, I, like, they never say, like, the last time they cry. They're, like, I don't cry. Like, I only cry every once in a while, and it's always when I'm on my period, when things are getting really difficult. <laughs> ah! But I rather, yeah. I'd rather be with someone that, like, shows yeah. emotion. I don't want to be the only one showing my emotions. Like, if I we're, like, talking about something, and I start, like, crying... Or, like, if it's something super, like, emotional, and you, like, are, ups- like, I don't know how to explain it, but I want, like, someone that shows emotion, too. Someone that'll cry with you. <laughs> yeah, like, if we're, we're telling each other stuff that has happened, we're, like... Oh, what's that one thing from Spongebob? The band, The Boys Who Cry? The Boys Who Cry. The Love boys that. Boys are back. Yay! The, the boys, boys are, are back! We well, gotta sing at least once every video. <laughs> anyway, next one best friends of the opposite gender in relationships so like if a guy is has friends a with a girlfriend and girl or if a girl is friends with a guy and and then they're in a okay if these two people are in a relationship and the girlfriend has a guy best friend and the guy the boyfriend has a girl best friend that makes sense better sense. i feel like nine times out of ten someone has feelings in that friendship so, like, I've never experienced this myself, but I know that it would make me uncomfortable. Not, like, I know that sounds like an insecure thing, but it's, like, you can have friends of the opposite gender, but if they're your best friend that you're hanging out with all the time, I feel like 
I have trust issues when it comes to that because I, I have been in the situation once where someone I was dating had a girl best friend and then um I don't know if he was cheating or if like something happened right after a relationship but I like they were a couple like af right after so like I just don't have trust see the only like I used to like never be against like guy best friends girl best friends like whatever but I have had like a guy best friend and he's definitely flirted with me and since i didn't pick him over like a boyfriend like so when i ended up dating like i was in the talking stage with and he wanted to go out with me as soon as he found out i was in a talking stage and about to date this person he just decided to confess his feelings to me so i had to drop him as a guy best friend because i knew how he felt about me and i wasn't going to save friends with him if i knew how he felt if i was getting into a relationship but i also know how it is having your boyfriend have a girl best friend because one of my exes girl best friends that he's known for years like years you cat made a catfish account followed him was flirting with him blah blah all that and we found out it was his girl best friend because then she started texting me harassing me threatening me and um she literally straight up told me yeah it's me and i had a class with her and so i was like so then she kept being a bitch to me in class and then he would always or and then when i went to visit one of my friends in sedona uh well my old friend was sedona, but that's besides the point and, um apparently i found out that she was talking shit to me on his, like uh, to him about like talking shit with him about me so that started a whole thing and yeah so so it's just and then the whole time we were together she was trying to ruin our relationship not even behind a fake account anymore at this point she was trying to do it like in person and that yeah and that is why i say nine times out of ten someone has feelings for someone so i don't trust best friends of the opposite gender because then i also after that like or i also dated another guy with a girl best friend and every time things were good between me and him um she would like be petty towards him and then once we would start arguing and she knew that we were arguing that's when she would always want to hang out with him and like be with him yeah and then if he like told her like we were arguing like she would talk shit and then we would break up and then because he would listen to her and all yeah so I don't know. I don't have best luck with guys having girl best friends. Kylie doesn't either. So who knows? Like. Okay, we're almost at 40 minutes. We gotta get this on. Get a move on. Okay, well, that's the end oh, wait, of. Wait, was there any more? Or is that it? That was it. Oh, sweet. <laughs> so that's, that's the end. end. Sorry, Sorry for, for the. the I'm just trying to copy what you're saying. Oh, I thought you were saying at the same time. Yeah. So, so sorry, sorry for, for the, the week, week break, break of, of, of video. video. <laughs> I hope, hope you can you forgive can us. <laughs> um, yeah. we'll, we'll try, try going, going back, back on our on posting, posting schedule, schedule and, and I will not, not leave Kylie any anymore. anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Robot. We did. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. watching. Um, we're almost at 60 subscribers. That's ah! wild. That's actually crazy because if that's get, like a whole crowded if we get room. To 60, then we're closer party, to party, a party, zero. Party, party. Or no, we're closer to a hundred than we are zero. Dumb blonde. Dumb blonde. <laughs> just that's just wild. Um, that is um, wild. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. We love you guys. We love you. Subscribe. Leave suggestions, yeah. assumptions, anything you want to see. We love you. Bye. Bye. Fuck.